Hello homeschoolers! Welcome back to our channel. And for today's video, I am going to share with you yung aming uh, grade 1 curriculum choices. So previously, meron tayong mga videos on preparation for homeschooling. So meron tayong uh, video about uh, the different learning competencies, kung baga, bakit sila importante. And uh, meron tayo isang video naman is kung paano naman kami gumagawa na aming learning plans. Ayan. So for today, ito, um, hindi pa ako actually tapos <laughs> sa learning plan. Hindi pa, kasi hinihintay ko rin yung um, list ng curriculum from the homeschool provider. At titingnan ko kung alin doon nang i-incorporate ko sa aming homeschool. Ayan. So, uh, the schedule would and the lessons would really be ano ba uh, to be determined kasi naghihintay rin talaga ako ng curriculum from the homeschool provider kasi syempre yung sa grade 3 ko uh, some of the lessons, some of the subjects ay isasabay ko sa grade 1 student kaya importante sa akin na makita mo ni curriculum na ino-offer nila for this school year uh, bago ako mag-decide ano ba yung final na final na ituturo ko doon sa mga bata so, here, ito yung mga books na gagamitin namin for, for grade 1. Um, isang libro lang ang kinuha ko sa homeschool provider. And it's actually the writing book. Ito, isa lang yung kinuha ko na book from them. And uh, the rest would be accumulation of the books that we have uh, throughout the years. And then, meron din akong mga materials na online naman. Okay? So, let's start muna doon sa mga non-major subjects. So, yun yung MAPE, Values Education, Computer, ano pa ba? O, yun. <laughs> yung tatlong yun. Values, MAPE, Computer. Ayan. Alright. So, start. So, for writing, ito na nga. Ito yung happy writing. Uh, basics of handwriting na book. Ito yung nakuha namin sa homeschool provider. Ayan. Uh, MAPE. Uh, for health, we will be talking about the different Filipino food for arts naman and we will have art appreciation okay, kay Fabian De La Rosa actually, ginawa ko na to sa dalawa ko pang older kids pero nung sumabay si Bunso noon maliit pa siya, parang 2 years old pa lang ata siya, or 3 kaya, yan so, we're gonna do art appreciation for MAPE and then, so, so, so the next quarters I still have some uh, paintings there from other artists. So, for this quarter muna, we'll just go with Fabian De La Rosa. Siguro, quarter 1 and quarter 2. PE, syempre, he is uh, ano, the usual PE lang naman. Takbo sa labas, play with ball, ayan, and swimming. For values education, and uh, a bit of mapi na rin siguro kasi safe kasama do sa health and safety. Uh, we'll be using the books ng Hias, Be Helpful, Be Safe, Be Healthy, Be Polite, The Life of Jesus, so yung religion kasama yan. Set of uh, the Help Me Be Good series, so we will be using these books, so siguro one, one character per week. Yeah, so it will. This will be for English and values education na. So dalawang ano yun, dalawang subject na rin. Also, meron pa akong book from the previous years na sa akin isa pang anak. Is yung Growing in Character na from the homeschool provider. Ito yung ginagamit rin ng homeschool provider. So titingnan ko kung ano yung magagamit namin yun na pages na nagkoko inside dito sa mga story books natin. For computer, for our little boy, our grade 1 student, uh, we'll be focusing on the different parts of the computer. Alin ang keyboard, alin ang monitor, uh, look into on technology. He's familiar naman na with the phones and tablet and the applications. I want to focus for computer on the safety pagdating sa paggamit ng mga devices na ito. Eventually, we'll be covering naman yung Microsoft Paint. Alright, next, for Filipino, major subject na tayo ha. For Filipino, ang 
gagawin naman namin is first two quarters we'll be focusing lamang on the alphabet and then literature and vocabulary. Ayan. So, here I have some storybooks from Adarna. So, we will be reading these. Basa naman niya na yung iba dyan. Pero, syempre, ulitin namin magbasa ulit nito. Uh, read alouds and at the same time, gusto ko rin siyang matutong bumasa ng Filipino kasi ngayon, English pa lang kaya niyang basahin. Ayan. So, kasama dito ay yung worksheets. Ayan, we have uh, this. We had this, ano ba? A few years ago na nalagay na lang sa shelf, nakalimutan na. So, marami pa akong pages dito na hindi nasasagutan that he will answer for this school year. Ayan. So, ano naman yan? Ang maganda dito kasi, nakakonect siya dun sa storybooks ni Adarna. Also, uh, nakikita nyo, <laughs> kinder na book for Filipino. Why? Kasi nga, ipa niya ganoon naaalala lahat ng Filipino alphabet like yung NG, NY, mga ganyan pati yung ano saka syempre yung vowels pwede nyo, ma-interchange nyo pa yung sound like letter U, di ba it's an A uh. syempre pagdating sa Filipino it will be an U talaga so ayan, so we will be re using this again yung Filipino book niya nung kinder ayan and of course, para sa Uh, vocabulary, syempre gagamitin natin ang, let me move here gagamitin namin ang wikahon A ayan, patal na sa amin to uh, magsastart kami sa gumamela bale, hindi ko na siya hindi ko siya nagawang gamitin talaga sa anak ko sa pangalawang anak ko so magsasabay na kami, isasabay ko na siya doon sa green grade 1 and grade 3 sasabay ko na sa vocabulary so magsastart kami sa gumamela Ayan, ito yung gumamili yung force. Level 1 na sila kagad. Automatic na yun. So, level 1 na kagad para uh, automatic na yun na at least dun sila pareho magsastart. So, nakapag-start na ako ng ibang stories dito ng gumamili dun sa aking uh, second child. Pero, hindi namin natutukan, natutukan yan. Kaya, this school year, mama, magsipag ka. Tutukan mo yung week ahon A at sayang naman, hindi magagamit. At ano rin, syempre, maganda rin natututunan yung mga bata yung mga Filipino words. Kaya yun, eh, nahihirapan silang intindihin talaga yung Filipino subject, yung grammar, kasi hindi na naintindihan yung Tagalog. Ayan, so, yeah, so, focus ko yan, vocabulary for Filipino. For Araling Panlipunan, okay, ito from my daughter, nung grade 1 siya, hindi niya natapos to titignan ko pa kung magagamit namin dito. For sure, meron naman. For, ano, Araling Panlipunan. But basically, our focus for Araling Panlipunan for grade 1 ay fa un family unit. Alright? So, different kinds of family. Like, extended, ganyan. Community, the barangay, and then the city. Yeah. So, yun ang focus namin. So, ito yung mga na na naisip ko na pwede namin gabitin for Araling Panlipunan. So, we have here the Smart Wizard by Vibal. I checked their website. Hindi na ata sila nagbebenta nito. Wala na. So, this is from my daughter pa noon. And then, the National Geographic Student World Atlas. Pahapiyaw lang naman yan. I just want him to understand kung nasa ng Pilipinas sa Earth. Yun. And then, my first atlas of the Philippines. Siyempre, just an introduction. Kung nasan yung kusan siya nakatira. Ano may kita sa ibang lugar. Ayan. Ibat ibang ano, food. Masaya to. And then, just a visual journey of the Philippines. So, just nice books. Ayan. Ayan. The best pa rin naman for them to learn about the country is when you travel talaga. So, hopefully, God willing, we'll be able to travel this school year. Okay. Yes. For English talaga, ang main um, curriculum ko would be from The Good and the Beautiful. But I'll share here with you some of the other things that we'll be using. Uh, the Tales by Beatrix Potter. This is for just read aloud. So, sama nung... These are just samples ng read aloud. We have a lot in our library for read aloud. And then here, the nabili ko sa Big Bad Wolf. Uh, the first grade language arts workbook. Ayan natin. Ayan. So, gagamitin namin to. Um, reading and writing. With stickers. And then, improving spelling. Na ginamit ko sa aking daughter last year. So, natasagutan niya na to. So, I'll be using na lang. 
I will just use this as a reference. We have here the Deep Ahead First Grade Trivia. Just wonderful questions. Masayang game lang to. And then we have the for science, dahil walang curriculum for science for grade 1, and it starts with grade, uh, sa grade 3, initially, ang plan ko talaga is to follow the curriculum of the homeschool provider. But, depende pa din. So, titignan ko muna kung anong nasa curriculum nila. Ito yung magagamit ko, for sure. Uh, the Earth and Space Science from, the, nabili ko nito sa Big Bad Wolf. This is for grades 4 to 8. Tatahay, but grade 4 to 8, i-grade 1 yung anak mo. Kasi nga, isasama ko siya sa mga lessons ng ate niya. So, for any uh, experiment that we will be doing na applicable sa age nila, gagamitin namin to. Yeah, so that's for reference. And then, Smart Wizard Science from Vival na hindi na, ano, wala na sa website nila. I uh, still have some pages here na hindi na sugutan ng daughter ko. Ang grade 1 siya, so we will be using this. Quarter one lang yan, but you can always use it the whole year. And then, my plan talaga for science is to have uh, unit studies. So, these are our two topics for now na gagawa namin. Ang unit studies will be for transport and sharks. So, for science, we will be using this for butterflies. There are coming, ano nito, flashcards. Unit study as well. Far from below, about the lava. Yeah. Kino. Gusto rin niya ni ano, bunso. And then for individual reading, yan yeah. ang magbabasa on his own. We have here the set of the different uh, little workmates. Yan. Yeah. Yan yeah, kami niyan. Yung mga ano to. This the uh, books na yan. So, these are just some of the books on our shelf, and then meron tayong Clifford Phonics Fun reading program at yung pack 2, kasi magaling naman na siya mag-decode ng words, so we'll be using this. Also for reading, gagamit tayo nito mga clip cards for blending kasi maganda rin siya for an activity uh, turuan na sila ng spelling Ayan. Thank you again <laughs> to Mami SJ sa pamana Ayan, gamit namin yan have here from Deep Frog and long vowel sounds. We can use these oh, different digraphs. And right, and syempre, meron tayong um, uh, flashcards for sight words. So, gagamit tayo nito for grade one. Uh, I bought this sa Shopee. I'll leave the link sa baba pag nakita ko ulit siya. And then, here for Kinder. Ayan. I wanna make sure that he understand. He can read and he can spell. Yan. Kaya kaya nandito pa rin siya. Kaya kasama pa rin siya dito. For math, we will be using the Good and the Beautiful na curriculum. Uh, nabanggit ko before na isasapay ko siya sa grade 3 student ko. Uh, but I've decided kasi doon sa aking grade 3 student na susundin namin yung curriculum ng homeschool provider. Okay, so dahil susundin ko sa kanina, sa homeschool provider, uh, I thought siguro mas madali siguro for me na tutukan na lang sila in their particular level. Kasi madali lang naman mag-increase ng lessons kung sakali masyado na tong magaan for my grade 1 student. So, here, uh, na-print ko ng ilang pages kasi hindi ko muna print lahat dahil maubusan ako ng ink. Ayan. So, ayan. And then, ilalagay ko na lang siya sa three-hole binder para meron kaming copy. The math ng The Good and the Beautiful. Uh, this is free. You can download this sa kanilang website. So, uh, I'll just leave the link na lang. Yung mga ibang items dito na Iba na bili ko online, uh, lalagay ko na lang rin yung link sa description box. So, here's our grade 1 curriculum choices for the school year 2023-2024. For sure, merong magbabago dyan kasi lagi namang ganun. Every quarter, biglang, oops, change tayo ng curriculum. You'll never know. Um, laging flexible tayo pag change tayo kung, ano, throughout the school year, kung ano man as applicable at mas makakagaan at mas mapapabuti sa ating homeschool journey. Ayan. So, if you want to follow us and check out our homeschool activities throughout the school year, I usually post on Instagram stories 
uh, snippets of our homeschool. So if you haven't followed me yet, you are welcome to follow me at uh, katsantiago.ph sa Instagram. Okay. And then, uh, for grade 3 curriculum choices, paabangan na lang po. And I'll see you again in our next video. Thank you again for watching. Happy homeschooling! Thank you.